and yeah. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, like we we kept me and Defrex for the last match since uh, James uh, couldn't come into stream. He is alone alone with his son, so I'm uh, gonna take care of him. Uh, fair enough. Um, so yeah, his son could stream. He could. Uh, I, I'm not sure how high quality he would be able to produce though. Uh, only he would well, scream. How, how old is noob Protoss, noob Terra, <laughs> and, it would be a pretty, and it would be a perfectly legit. Uh, description of what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I I would rather like. So since shall we <laughs> yeah. shall we introduce our players? Yeah, indeed, indeed. In the one. bottom right corner, our Zerg player, the Pink Shadow. Hi, hi. <sighs> All right, <laughs> and the <laughs> but like and the. Yeah, no, sorry. sorry, go ahead. Go no, ahead. go ahead, go ahead, Max. Do the introduction. All right, well, I'm gonna just do this real quick. In the top left, the Terran player, EDX. Hype, hype, hype. I mean, I mean, sorry. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way. But, but wait, EDX is on your team, Sif. So why, why are you booing? Oh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, but he's like the Terran. I, I, I have conflicted feelings. Here. Yes, I, I completely understand. I, like. Uh, Okay, I, I guess this time I can uh, I, I root for the Terran. I don't know, but the fact is that the long the cross pawns are advantageous for Shadow here. Yeah. Because if uh, EDX tries to drop, it will take quite a long time. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And at the same time, it's really easy for EDX to just spread overlords which cannot really be shut down from the ground so and also this map is really good for uh dare i say swarm host her ass oh yeah oh yeah. god i actually said it yeah <laughs> but yeah swarm so, yeah. host is hard to make work though if you're playing against bio uh so yeah 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 definitely We'll see. Maybe but like they can be flight. dropped. They can be dropped across, like at the gold base, and they actually reach back a natural yeah. for the other player. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Exactly. So you the can Reaper do is on its way. It. Yeah, yeah. So Reaper is on its way. Four Zerglings are ready for Shadow, and he will see that Reaper is coming. So I think he over I think Shadow overdroned. The tanks feel a bit weird here. Like he has 19 drones on the main. Yeah. So he has 22 at the moment. I'm not sure what he does differently, but normally you don't really have this. Eh, with the normal opener uh Shadow went for. Maybe he and just 20... didn't rally oh, over to yeah, yeah. Drone, so. Yeah. yeah, it seems like he forgot the rally. The the Reaper doesn't seem to be doing any damage here. Like nothing yeah. died yet. Not even a slow Zergling. Murder. Okay, so double Evo chambers from Shadow. He probably wants to go for a longer game. And he's droning pretty hard here. Oh, well, Seven uh, drops on the way. EDX going straight for the third uh, command center already. Um, yeah, he figures it's going to be a long game as well, I think. Yeah. This is a pretty greedy build by Idex. He's going to Hellions. Uh... Uh, it's only one Hellion. Okay, so the know. Hellions are desynced a bit. Yeah. Oh. And Idex goes for three barracks, so this is going to be Bio, I think, but I'm not sure why he's making Hellions then. I think the Hellions are used for some Pokemon potential and also like. You can use Hellions to make strong pressures together with the bio to like uh, take care of the links in the front or maybe tank some. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I I got so a suggestion the... by the way from Black Sword for example in the last Cloud War to do like a two one one timing together with um, like use follow up with Hellions um, yeah. into Hellbats and they thought that would can be pretty strong. So I'm sure uh, like that could be something. One could do. 
Yeah. So uh, the Reaper saw the third starting up for Shadow, so he knows what's going on. Four Hellions are on the way from EDX. Hellions so... that are spotted by uh, Shadow 2. Yeah. Uh, let's see what these links can possibly do. They go for the surround, but the Hellions escape. So probably all of those links will die if they try to aggress on the Hellions. The yeah. Hellions are basically almost full health. The Reaper is there for spotting ahead, so yeah, I'd say those Hellions are pretty safe there. Indeed. And uh, EDX has the Watchtower as well, so if we look at his view, we can clearly see where the army is. Now there are enough links for a surround, but I think he might over micro a bit. Yeah, now, so... Okay, so... Did he invest the lot in those links, though? So, like, he's only on 38 drones compared to the turns for the three SVs. Yeah, but he... Actually, yeah, now, actually, both of them are on two base. With these links, he will probably manage to get a lift off. Yeah, those four marines will not be enough. True, true. Oh, he gets, gets oh. the drone there. Oh, he shouldn't have disengaged. I don't know. Uh, uh, Shadow started a spire meanwhile, so. Yeah, it's probably yeah. gonna be Link yeah. Bane Muta or something yeah. similar. And he started a fourth as well. He has 11 drones on the way. He's droning pretty hard. Yeah, he has four gases as well. So... These drones chilling at the third base. Plus two, plus two is started for Shadow. So he's in a pretty nice place. Mm. Bailing speed as well. But the uh, Spire is almost like ready. Uh, sometimes it just uh, freezes for a bit uh, when I minimize. So, yeah. But, yeah, so uh, far, Shadow has a nice creep spread between his bases. No real creep spread outside, though. So, yeah, yeah. I suppose he's trying to be defensive so far. Yeah. He uh, does have a nice view of all the angles, basically, except the gold base right in front of him. So, a drop could come from that direction, but that's not really the most likely path, so he should be safe. Oh, there we go, loading a medivac. Yeah, Edi EDX is loading one medivac, so he might be trying for one small drop. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, he queued it for the upper right uh, watchtower, so I think he's checking for ninja bases, but the mutas are out for shadow, so they will catch the drop. Or if damn, that's close. Or they won't. And by the way, just to note if uh, Shadow is TV. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, but he, it's okay, hard to so know those two. It, he spots the shadow. drop. Yeah. So the spots, yeah, and the over spotting overlord dies, and now the oh, the mutas don't turn back. Oh. I think that might be a pretty dangerous decision. But he if got those, a lot of uh, turning and bandling. Oh. It lost one of the Yeah, he, he has enough uh, defensive bailings and circlings uh, in his back base, and he has a spore crawler to kill the medevac and the spine to kill the unloading marines. Oh, he's pretty look at safe, those I'd say. You see medevacs there. TV is yeah, two medevacs. Chilling a bit beside them instead. <laughs> oh, no, now he's intercepting. There are no defensive forces there. At the left side, so... Oh, he's pulling everything from natural. Oh. So, two drops Pedro. at the same time. And the drop in the natural was uncontested so far, but the Zerglings arrived. Yeah. Only two drones died total. So. That wasn't really worth it, to be honest, and the medic no, just wasn't. died too. Yeah, for no. nothing. Yep. So, to recap... EDX is on three bases and 57 workers at the moment. He's just flying his fourth out. And it seems it will be uncontested for a while. Uh, it's probably going to be a planetary, as uh, he already built three um, turrets near it. 
Uh, meanwhile, Shadow or TV oh, nice has 63 yeah. drones and uh, four bases. There's a huge battle in the middle of the map, apparently. The splits are pretty good, Marines but he, died. he he did not did not have enough to deal with the rest of the links, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I was a bit unsure. Uh, the EDX is long, right? EDX is still on one one for the Marines. Meanwhile, oh, the Zerglings are on two two, so it's a nice advantage. But there are Widow Mice scattered, and they all activate. And there is there are two Zerglings left alive. Let's see if if let's see if they survive the battle. Yeah. You will, we will see in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Magnificent. I love it. Yes. The Zerg is quite stacking up a little bit of uh, cash there, but not sure yeah, if it's intentional. Yeah, uh, he probably wants to get, yeah, I don't know, infestors. maybe Ultras later or something. Seems like Infestors, he's getting the Pathogen Gland, that might be interesting. Yeah. So the mutas are doing quite a bit of damage here. Twelve mutas so far, but there are two widow mines uh, buried right next to the main. So if he goes any closer, the mutas can very well die. Oh, that's this was a really bad hit for the mutas. Four died instantly. Oh. Meanwhile, yeah, there's a I'm huge sure. battle going on at Shadow's main. I mean, th fourth. Sorry. Yeah. The Marines are pre-split quite nicely, actually, and there is a four as fine, well. Yeah. Ling reinforcement should be in this Yeah, one. there are enough links, and it's only one Thor, oh, so... Yeah, maybe not. It looks like that one Thor is uh, tanking enough for links. Yeah, it was also the Marines still being left in the background, I didn't see. But yeah. he's morphing so, more So, at this point, all the Widow Mines are getting close, and there's a Thor as well. It's pretty dangerous to be a Mutalisk around this place. Yeah, I think so. Oh. All the Bailings explode yeah. from Widow uh, Mines. That was some explosion. nice splitting by the deck. Uh, that was a huge shot. Uh, TV doesn't really have an army left. So, like, cool. uh, the supply... Like... <clears throat> Let's do let's do the Todd impression. Three, two, one. Look, Look at, at the supply. supply. <laughs> so even though EDX is supply blocked at the moment, he is at 180 supply. Meanwhile, uh, Tiwi or Shadow is only at 118. That's a huge difference. Yeah. And he just lost two braces as well. So. I mean, Tiwi's main is basically mined out, and he has only one and a half mining bases left. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm not sure his bank will save him at this point. He is going for 3 3 and adrenal glands, but I'm not sure he will even survive till they finish. Yeah, this exactly. is quite dis disappointing, to be honest. I mean, I expected to see some investors, especially since he got the energy upgrade, but he yeah. just let the money there. Yeah, at this point it's just... So the splits are great from EDX. Yeah. And all the bailings are gone. Uh, literally all the army is gone, more or less. Yeah. Only a few links, but there are less links than... Uh... And there you go. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, they are apparently sleeping, so... Yeah, I saw. Th There's the GG. EDX GG won. Well played. All right, all right. Uh, gonna switch back here to EU. Uh, but yeah, GG that was a good play. game, to be honest. Yeah, it was. It was. Holy crap! So Five hundred APM. <laughs> yeah, TV what? really, really goes really hard on the APM. <laughs> so, yeah. so, who will stream the last game? That's the the good question. I'm gonna go up now and see like if there's anyone on that can stream. Yeah, because I mean. I, I can cast but not stream. Exactly. That's their small problem. Uh, but yeah, I'll see here if uh, let's see, there's maybe Shik can stream on his stream uh, if he uh, wants to because he got what? streaming set up. Uh, yeah. But what do you actually use for streaming? I use um, Observe. Uh, what is it called? Observer. OBS. Software? Yeah, OBS uh, for short. OBS. Yeah. So. Um, hold on. 
I don't know. I we can actually try, and I might be able to stream. I don't know. It takes I don't a bit have of time it set up. to set up, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but we we can set it up for another time. Uh, yeah, 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 we we can do that. And the, then I yeah, I'm gonna check up yeah. and see. Uh, All right. Then we can.